What's up, residents? In one of our recent videos, I told you guys about the dinosaur that paleontologists were comparing to X-Men's Wolverine due to its massive claws. But naturally, some of you were quick to say there is another dinosaur with claws even more out of this world. And this dinosaur that roamed the Earth 80 to 70 million years ago is called the Rhizinosaurus, meaning scythe lizard. Look at this damn thing! Is it not one of the weirdest looking dinosaurs that you have ever seen? Although looking like it grew up wanting to be just like Freddy Krueger or Edward Scissorhands, those crazy large claws actually had more than a few very important purposes. Don't forget we have a Dangerville Facebook, so head on over and become an even greater resident. Discovered by the Soviet Union right after the end of the war in 1948 in the lands of Mongolia, researchers originally thought that the few fossils found belonged to some sort of ancient giant turtle. Yeah, even in the mid-1900s, paleontologists were still coming up with some wacky theories. And this theory stayed relevant all the way until 1970, when the fossils were finally identified as belonging to a brand new theropod dinosaur. More specifically, the Therizinosaurus was part of the Manoraptora family, a branch of dinosaurs that would go on to include birds as we know them. You can see many of the similarities with birds in the Therizinosaurus, like the inclusion of a breastplate, wide pelvis, and backwards pointing hip bone. So they've only found a few separate pieces of the skeleton of this dinosaur, including the back leg bones, a few ribs, and the entire forelimb that just so happens to have those awesome claws we mentioned earlier, but we will get to them here soon. In some cases, I will admit it's a bit strange for paleontologists to say what a dinosaur looks like when they've only found a few pieces of the entire puzzle. But in this case, there is supporting evidence. Other members of the Thrysnosauria family of dinosaurs have been discovered with more complete skeletons. With the help of its cousins, specialists were able to give their best shot at giving the Thrysnosaurus a respectable and likely image. And it was a freaking weird image. Imagine an ancient sloth, an ostrich, and any type of sauropod somehow managed to produce a child. The Thrysnosaurus would be this strange ass monstrosity, sporting a small bird like skull, long neck, a large, heavy-set, pot-bellied body, and a short tail. This dinosaur wasn't going to win any beauty contests, coming in at 33 feet or 10 meters long, 15 feet or 5 meters tall, and weighing up to 6 tons. It was almost the size of a dang T-Rex, guys. While there is no direct evidence of feathers on the Thrysnosaurus, other members of its family have had skin impressions discovered that support the potential for some down-like feathers. So this very well could have meant that the Thrysnosaurus also had them. Its legs were stocky but powerful, and its feet had some interesting attributes that aren't shared by most of its theropod brethren. This animal had four weight-bearing toes, unlike the more common three-toed theropods. The real bread and butter of this guy was its massive 10-foot long arms, and on the end of these bad boys set its legendary claws. And when I say legendary, I truly mean that. These claws were and are the largest claws of any known animal both living and extinct to ever walk our planet, coming in at three feet or one meter in length. Stretch your arm out. See how long that is? These claws were even longer, being mostly straight, narrow, and flat. The claws were more than likely not very good for killing or ripping apart flesh. The Therizinosaurus, although with no skull being found, is expected to be mostly a herbivore, due to the other members of its family having a skull that supports this lifestyle. However, it is thought to have possibly gone after insects using its long claws to rip apart giant prehistoric termite mounds. The more practical use of these claws though was probably for defensive purposes. Their creature was certainly not built for speed, so no matter what, it had to stand its ground and fight against potential predators or even others of its kind in territorial or mating disputes. For as interesting and bizarre as this dinosaur is, it is relatively still unknown to the general public, not being included in any of the Jurassic films or dinosaur movies of any kind really. It is however in the PlayStation game Dino Crisis and Ark. If there's any more games out there that have this guy in it, let us know. You know, I would love to see this dinosaur in the new Jurassic World Evolution game. 
There's no sign of it in the game right now, but as future DLC, maybe? I mean, how can they leave out such a wacky dinosaur? Show this thing some damn love! So what do you think, residents? Is the Thryzinosaurus the weirdest looking dinosaur that we have discovered yet? And do you want to see this guy in Jurassic World Evolution? Discuss it down below. I want to thank all of you who recommended this video. Without you guys, there would be no Dangerville. So thank you, and I really mean that. Until next time, guys and gals, this has been Jacob, and peace out.